Hello everybody and welcome to the first annual WZ Sports Day competition. It's a beautiful day outside for sports and it's perfect for this intense competition where we're going to be seeing four teams of WZ members duking it out in four sports to determine who will be crowned the WZ Sports Day 2021 champion. I'm going to be bringing you live coverage of these matches with commentary as we see these teams fight it out. So with all that being said, let's get into the specifics of what we're going to be seeing here today. So let's take a look at what we've got in store for us today with the outline of Sports Day. That'll be four teams of three or four people. These teams were decided by 14 captains via snake draft and those teams will be competing in wiffle ball, soccer, kickball, and basketball in that order. They will be receiving points in each sport based off their placement. And then after all four sports, the team with the most points will be crowned champion. And there will be a tiebreaker for first if it is needed. So let's get into the teams here. First of all, I need to provide a forewarning that... I will be referring to myself in the third person throughout this competition, so just kind of bear with me there. And thank you to Grimace for this graphic as we get into the teams. Um, the captains are TK, Brawley, Eric, and Aiden. And there was a snake draft to determine the teams, which was the pick order was TK, Aiden, Eric, Brawley. So first picked was Wally for red team, and then RCP for white. Bobby for pink, blue team got Joe and Haller as their two picks as we turn the draft around to Irik picking Nathan, white team then picked King, and red team got Tuck and Larry on their wraparound picks, white team then claimed Grimace, and Anks, otherwise known as Apraxia, was selected by the pink team with the final pick of the draft. Edison was not a part of the draft because he did not intend to play, but he ended up having to play basketball as an emergency sub due to injury on the blue team. So with the teams out of the way, let's take a look now at the more specific outlines for these sports we're going to be playing before we get into the first event of the day. For wiffle ball and basketball, things are pretty standard here, so I'm just going to run through it quickly. There are 3v3 or 4v4 matches in a single elimination bracket with the matchups for round one being decided by RNG, a third place match for the losers of round one, and then 10, 7, 4, and 1 points for teams respectively are distributed based on their placement in the bracket. And then for soccer and kickball, things get a little more complicated as these are played 6v6 or 7v7 with teams being merged. So for example, you would have a game of red and white team versus pink and blue team. And the, te the merged teams are decided by RNG for game one of soccer. Then for game two of soccer, the winners and the losers are split up so that one team must go 2-0 and one team must go 0-2. The other two teams will go 1-1 one and one and tie for second. The teams for game one of kickball will be the teams who weren't paired in either of the soccer games, if that makes sense. And then in the end, the point distribution will be 10, 7, 7, and 4. So these are weighted a little less severely due to the fact that your team isn't really on its own and these will be the second and third games played so you start off controlling your own fate and you end off controlling your own fate with wiffle ball and basketball respectively so the first event of this competition is going to be wiffle ball so here i've listed all the essential things that you need to know about wiffle ball and i'm not going to go through each of them individually as i don't want to waste any more time but if you would like, you could pause the video here and review the rules for yourself as we get into the action here. But first, I'm going to show you guys the reactions to the live randomizing of the matchups for the Wiffle Ball Bracket. All right, really quickly, I just need to mention place. that in these games, I will mostly only be showing the decisive pitches of these at-bats to make the game move along quicker. And by that I mean I will be showing the pitch where the batter either strikes out, walks, or hits the ball. Three, two, one! Activate shock. Oh! Why are you wearing pink? Holy shit, what is that? It's 
One, two, First game getting underway here. We've got blue team versus pink. Joe on the mound for blue. Proxy up to bat. 0 2 count. Strike three. 3 2 count. Ball four. Bobby goes a walk. 0 2 count. Strike three, swinging. Two outs. 1-2 count. Strike three swing. That'll end the inning. Joe gets out of it cleanly. Am I good? Nathan on the mound for pink here. As Brawley is going to take ball four. That's four straight balls. Brawley draws a walk. Irik being subbed in to pitch here already after just one batter. And he will walk Howler on a 3-1 count. And it's going to be another pitching change for the pink team here as Bobby's coming in to pitch. 3-0 count. Walked him. Bases loaded. Brawley puts a ball in play. The out will be gotten at third on Joe, but that will bring in a run. So Blue will take a 1-0 lead as Howler's up to bat now. <coughs> Eric makes the catch on that fly out, almost gets the double play, but not quite, as I'll bring up Joe. That ball is crushed. That is a no-doubter. Three-run home run for Joseph here in the first inning, and that will blow this game open. 4-0 now for the blue team as Joe rounds the bases and celebrates with his team. Next up, I'll bring up Brawley. 3-0 count. Walked him on four straight. Haller coming up to bat. Irik coming into pitch once again. First pitch swing, and that will be fair in play. And the call on the field is out. He tagged him out, then dropped the ball. I don't think that should be an out, but that is the call on the field, and they are going to go to the next inning now and call that an out. O2 count. Strike three swinging. One, two. On pitch out of the zone. Bobby coming up to bat. Three two count. Watch a strike three. That will be two outs now in the inning. As <laughs> Joe gets pegged. Strike three swinging on a one two count. And that will do it for the inning. Praxia coming into pitch. This is the fourth pitcher they've used as Joe smokes that ball. That oh, he makes a throwing error. I think that will be scored a single, and he reaches second on the error. Oh, oh he strikes out on three pitches. Great work by Apraxia there, recording the first strikeout for the pink team in this game. How up to bat, 1-0 count. Hits that ball. He looks like he might make that. Oh, but Eric makes an outstanding play to get the out of first. Joe, though, will come all the way around to score from second. And that'll make this a 5-0 ball game. Joseph coming back up to bat. He's having a great day at the plate. As that will be put in play, but caught by Bobby for the third out of the inning. Last call for the pink team now. Trailing 5-0. 0-2 count. Strike three swinging. I'll bring up Apraxia. Struck out twice today. 0-2 count. Strike three swinging way out of the zone. And it's the last chance for the pink team here. 1-2 count. Oh, hits the top pipe for strike three. And that will end this ball game. 5-0 final. Blue team takes it easily. Game two underway here. This time we've got red team versus white team. RCP on the mound for white. 1-1 one, one count on TK. That's grounded back to the pitcher. That's going to be an easy out for the white team. One down right away. Here comes the first pitch to Wally. 
Oh, that's put into play, and that's going to work. That's a single. Runner on first for the red team. 1-1 one, one pitch to Tuck coming up. Oh, that's hit sharply off of RCP's leg, and that's going to work. Now we've got runners on first and second for the red team. 2-1 pitch to Larry. Popped. RCP should be able to handle this, and Tuck has to scatter back to first. TK coming up with two outs, runners on first and second. 2-2 two, two pitch. And that's smacked into right field, and that's going to get down for extra bases. And Wally's going to steam in home, and Tuck, oh, Tuck takes a wide turn around there, and he's going to be pegged out. A little bit of a base running miscue there, and that'll end the inning for red team. TK on the mound for the red team. Walked him on four straight. That'll bring up Grimace. Walked him on four straight once again. That's eight straight balls to open up the game. RCP coming up, first pitch. Chase has a pitch out of the zone. That's going to be a fair ball. TK will get the out first. RCP slides in aggressively, but the runners will stay at second and third. Aiden up to bat. Walked him. That'll load up the bases for King. That's hit hard up the middle. That's gonna, that's gonna work. That's gonna be an RBI single. All the runners will move up one base. Grimace coming up to bat. 0-2 count. Struck him out. Swing. That will be the second out of the inning for the red team as RCP will come up. Ground to the right side. Tuck it. Oh, and it goes past Tuck, and that's gonna cost them a lot as all the runners are going to come around to score and RCP will slide into third. That's a bases clearing triple. It was a tough play for Tuck and he was not able to make it and now right team will lead 4-1. to one. First pitch to Aiden coming up. There's a drive into left field and Larry tries to make the grab but does not succeed. I think even if he did, it was too deep into the grass. It would have been a home run regardless. That is a two-run blast for Aiden. And that will be a mercy for the inning. Red team now trails 1-6. to six. They're coming back up to the plate. That should work. Wally hits it to the left side and he beats that out. Nice speed by Wally there. That'll bring up Tuck. 0-2 pitch. Oh, chases out of the zone. That'll be a strikeout. One down for the for the red team. 3-2 pitch on Larry. Oh, and that's hit hard. That could be gone. No, it's staying in the yard, but that'll be extra bases. And he will slide into second. That'll move up Wally to third. Runners on second, third now with one out. TK coming up to bat. Full count, 3-2. Low, that'll be a walk. That'll load up the bases for Wally, who's two for two on the day with two singles. Full count, three, two. Misses, that will walk in a run, and the bases are main loaded with just one out here for Tuck. Two, two pitch. Misses, that will be a strikeout, and that'll be two outs. That's a huge strikeout for RCP. Larry coming up, 3-0 pitch. Walks him on four straight. That will bring in yet another run. 3-6 ball game. Two outs. Bases loaded. TK coming up to bat. Two First pitch coming up. That ball smoked into left field. That's going to be gone. That's a grand slam. And that will give the red team the lead here in the second inning. And that will be a mercy for the inning as well. As red team takes a 7-6 lead. Off of a grand slam by TK there. King coming up. First pitch swinging. That's... A bobble by TK, but it will still be in time to Wally for the first out of the inning. Grimace puts it in play on a 1-2 pitch, but that will be a tough play for Wally actually on the errant throw, but that will be that'll get the job done. Two outs. Walked RCP three on a 3-1 pitch. RCP bat flips that on the two-out walk. Aiden coming up. 
1-2 pitch. Smoked into left field. That will easily work. Larry maybe had a play on at second, but RCP was able to get in in time. That's hit deep to center field, but not deep enough. Larry will make the catch, and that will end the inning for the white team. 7-6 to six game still. White team will bring an aid in here in relief after the rough second inning for RCP. Wally has had a good day at the plate. And he will slap that opposite field, but stays in the yard. King makes the catch, one out. First pitch to Tuck. Oh, and he slaps that in the left, and he will make it easily. He's got good speed. Runner on first now for Larry. Larry hits it pretty much the exact same hit, and RCP couldn't come up with it. He could have gotten the out at second, but the ball gets by him, and now there will be runners at first and second for TK, who hit a grand slam in his last at bat. 3-0 pitch. 3-0 swinging, but it was not the right choice, and Larry will get back in time. The call on the field is safe. Popped back to the pitcher, and that will be two outs now for Wally. Way outside, that's ball four. That'll load up the bases for Tuck. 0-2 pitch. He puts the bat on the ball, and oh, RCP can't come up with it, and he'll have to try to get Larry at home, but oh, he misses, and that'll be two runs scoring for the red team. RCP letting his frustrations out on the field. Larry coming back up, and that is gonna work. Oh, but he doesn't know it's not a force. Tuck's going back to second, and he will get back because it was not a force out at third. That is a brutal miscue. Grimace will come in for RCP. TK walks. Loaded up the bases yet again. 3-2 pitch. Good discipline by Wally there. Takes the 3-2 ball and will walk in another run. As Tuck's coming back up. Oh, and that's hit well. Perfectly placed and TK's coming home. Oh! Almost pegged on the way to home, he was able to juke it out, and that'll be two more runs. And remember, there's no mercy in the final inning. So the inning will continue, but Larry goes down on three pitches, and that will finally end this inning. Last call for the white team here. They trail seven in the bottom of the third. Wally coming into the game to try and close it out for the red team. RCP up to bat. He smacks that ball into left. He will make it easily and not a no throw. Aiden coming up to bat. 0-1 count. Oh, he hits that well, but TK will make the catch and RCP will retreat back to first. One out. King up to the bat. Mm, that's not going to do it. Another deep fly by King, but it stays in the yard for an out. 2-2 two, two count on Grimace. Last chance for White. Swats at the ball that's out of the zone, and that will be a strikeout to end the game. Red team takes it. Game three about to be underway. This is the match to determine third place, and it'll be between pink team and white team. Grimace on the mound this time for white team. And Nathan will send a pop fly. Grimace bobbles it, but he actually does recover and make the catch. That'll be one out to start. 2-2 two, two count. Oh, Grimace blocks that nicely, and he gets the out at first. Nice play by both Grimace and RCP to get that out. One and two count. Oh, that's a great pitch by Grimace. Just nicks the right pipe, and that will be strike three on Apraxia. White team coming up to bat. Apraxia on the mound to start this game for pink. First pitch. Oh, and that ball is walloped to right field. RCP fights off a pitch way out of the zone, and he just powers it to right field. Opposite field smash, and leadoff home run for the white team here as RCP rounds the bases. And pink team already in a rut once again. 
King walks on four straight. Oh, one pitch to Aiden. Oh, and he smacks that ball, and that will work. That will be runners on first and second. Still no outs for the pink team. Full count. 3-2 pitch to Grimace. Way outside. Walk them. That will load up the bases, and there's still not an out. RCP no, right up to now. the plate. He sends that into the Holy sky, shit. but I don't think that'll be quite deep enough. It will bring in King, though, from third for a sacrifice fly. That'll make the score 2-0, one out. And an infamous pitching change from the pink team. They sure have a lot of these, as Iric will be coming in to relieve Apraxia. And walk them. That'll load up the bases once again, as Aiden is coming up to the plate. Walked him on four straight. That'll bring in another run. And yet another pitching change is about to occur here as Nathan will take the mound. He only faced one batter in his previous game. Let's see how he does. Grimace sends that ball to left field on a 3 1 count. It'll get over Apraxia's head, and that's going to bring in two runs. Great piece of hitting by Grimace. That's his first hit on the day, whole day, actually. So congrats to him. And that'll be a mercy for the inning. We're going to turn it over. Bobby coming up to bat. First pitch. Oh, and he sends that deep to right, but it'll stay in the yard, and King will catch it for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Nathan, who is also still hitless. And he sends that ball. It'll dunk in for a base hit, and... The throw misses, so he will advance to second. I believe that's actually the pink team's first hit of the whole day. Hey, man. As Apraxia draws a walk. Hey, man. So we got a little bit of a rally going here, actually. Runners on first and second with one out for Irik. Walked him outside. A lot of movement to that pitch, but it doesn't find the zone. That'll load up the bases. Big opportunity for pink team here. Full count. And he misses. That'll be strike three. That's a big strikeout for Grimaces. That'll bring in bring on Nathan. Two outs, bases loaded. Two two count. Oh, top pipe. Beautiful pitch by Grimace. And Nathan hits it off of the bounce off the strike zone. It's actually pretty impressive. A one count to RCP. He will get on base with a single. And he will advance to second on the errant throw. King coming up. A one count. Oh, and he smokes that ball into left. That almost gets out of there, but it'll stay in the yard. Definitely extra bases, though, and RCP will come around to score. That'll make it a 6-0 ball game. White team tacking on runs. Aiden up to bat. Oh, bottom pipe. Great pitch by Nathan. Aiden can't believe it. As he goes down on strikes, that'll be the first out of the inning. Grimace up to the plate. Oh, and another great pitch by Nathan. He's just painting the corners with these pitches. That's two straight strikeouts for him. Walks RCP on four straight. So that will make runners on first and second with two outs still. As King hits another ball hard into left. Apraxia cannot come up with it. Could have made a catch there, I believe, but instead that will bring in another run as Grimace rounds the bases. 7-0. Aiden up to bat. 2-0 count. Hit hard, but not quite deep enough as Apraxia will settle under it and make the catch. That'll end the inning for a white team. Last chance for pink team here. They still have not gotten a run on the day. And what a great pitch by Grimace. That curves into the zone, hits the paper, and that's one out. Eric up to bat. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and he cranks that deep center field. That's going to be a home run. That's the first run of the day for the pink team. Eric gets them on the board with a solo shot. You'd love to see that. As they unfortunately still trail 1-7, to seven, but... You know, this could be the start of something. Remember, there's no mercy in the final inning, so pink team could theoretically come all the way back to win it. Bobby hits that into left, but it 
It won't be caught. He will get on base with the single. Rally continues. One out. First pitch swinging. That's going to be in the out at second, however. They get the lead runner, so that'll be a fielder's choice. As last chance, Eirik smacks it up again, but that one's not deep enough either, and that's going to be the ball game. White team takes it 7-1 to and claims third place. All right, everybody, it's time for the final. It's the blue team against the red team. Brawley gonna lead things off against TK here. And first pitch swing, that should be an easy catch for Tuck. Oh, but he drops it. And that will go down as an error, I think, as Brawley reaches on the dropped pop fly. First runner on for the blue team as Howard comes up to bat. 0-2 count. And he puts the bat on the ball, puts it on play, but TK will get the out at first. Brawley, though, advances all the way to third. So, pretty productive out there for Howler. Yeah, he tried that, the but plate the angle is not really that good. You can't really do Joseph it. hits it in the sky, but it will be caught, but that will bring in Brawley for a sacrifice fly. So, the team will take an early 1 0 lead here. As Brawley's up to the plate, 0 1 count. Oh, and he smokes it up the middle. That will be an easy single for him. And the inning continues as Howler comes up to bat. 3-0 pitch coming up. Howler looking for his first hit of the day. He will take though, that's ball four on four straight as he will charge the mound. But it's all good fun obviously as they rough each other up a little there. Joseph will come up to the plate. Oh, and he absolutely destroys that ball on the ground however, so it's not gone. It will bring in a run though. Howler has to dive back into second, and it'll be 2-0 blue team now with two outs here. 2-2 two -two count on Bali. Oh, fools him on the changeup. That's strike three swinging, and TK will get out of it, but the damage has been done. Blue team leads 2-0 as the red team is looking to get some runs here. Joseph, though, on the mound, he had an extremely dominant first outing against the pink team in which he struck out nine and allowed only one walk. 3-2 count here. It's been a long at-bat. Oh, and he gets him to chase up and out of the zone. And that is a strikeout for Joseph. 2-2 count. Right down the middle, but Wally cannot catch up to it. That's two consecutive strikeouts. Tuck coming up. 1-2 count. Strike three swinging. Joseph strikes out the side in order to retire the first. And now we go back to the blue team. And Howler will fight that off. It goes over Wally's head, but not quite gone. It will be a long single as Howler gets his first hit of the day. Joseph coming up to bat. 2-2 two, two count. Hits the change up, but they will get the out at second. So that will go down as a fielder's choice. And one out as Bali comes up to bat. 2-1 count here. Hits it high, but... Larry with an amazing sliding catch. He will recover that, and Joe will go back to first. That's two outs now in the inning. And Howler's up to bat. One, two, count. Let's see what TK decides to throw here. Oh, a nice sidearm action. I haven't seen that often. He gets him to chase on a pitch inside, and that will end the inning as Red Team needs to get some base runners. Joe walks Larry on four straight, not even close there. And Red Team will get their first base run of the game. TK coming up to bat. 3-2 pitch, full count. Misses just barely, and that will be another base runner for the Red Team. It looks like Joseph is starting to lose the strike zone a little here as Wally's coming up to bat. 3-0 count.
misses yet again, and that is a walk on four straight. Joe has walked the bases loaded, and it looks like Ball is actually going to relieve him. Joe may be getting tired or something of a sort. He loses the zone and walks three straight, and Ball is going to come onto the mound with Tuck coming up to bat. 1-0 count. And that ball's hammered in the left field, and it's gone! That's a grand slam for Tuck, and that will give the red team the lead here in the final. 4-2 for the red team. I'm just speechless. Tuck is rounding the bases, and they're celebrating at home plate. Bali comes in to relieve, and just Tuck is all over him. And they're actually going to bring in Howler to pitch now to Larry. 3-2 count, and he loses them. That's ball four. And Bali will come right back onto the mound. as we're going to be seeing TK up to bat on a 1-1 count. He hits that ball up the middle and a close play at second. And the call on the field is safe. It was a close play, but it looks like that would be a single. And we've got runners on first and second for the red team with no outs still. Wally coming up to bat. He hits that ball hard, but not quite gone. However, it looks like that will definitely score Larry and that's five, so that'll be a mercy for the inning. The blue team fails to record a single out in the bottom of the second. And Red now leads at five to two, and it's the last chance for the blue team. We're going top three. Joseph up to bat, 1-0 count. And that ball's absolutely destroyed. Off the camera, practically, in the left field. Joseph hits his second home run of the day, and that will bring this game within two. This is certainly not over yet. 5-3 ball game. Red team still leads it. But ball is coming up, no outs. And he hits a rocket up the middle. He will make that all day long. And that is a base runner for the blue team. And you gotta wonder if TK will opt to sub in Wally to pitch at any point here. As Howler hits it back to the pitcher, but oh, he goes for the out at second, and it's not in time. He's safe. I think they definitely could have gotten the out at first there. Strikes out Joseph on three straight pitches. As an, a huge strikeout for TK after Joe's last at bat resulted in a no doubt homer. Now there's one out, and Bally's up to the bat. He's going to hit it up the middle, but they're going to get the out at second. And that's an excellent fielding play by Larry and Wally. And there's now two outs with runners on the corners. Last chance for blue team as Hallow comes up to the plate. 3-2 count. Chases outside, and that is strike three. That will end the ball game. Red team takes it in 5-3 to three fashion and wins the wiffle ball portion of sports day. So here's a quick look at all the stats from the wiffle ball games. You can pause and take a closer look if you'd like to, but just showing these real quick. And then we've got the batting leaderboards here where you can see everyone stacks up in each of these different categories. And I also made the same types of leaderboards for pitching so that you can kind of have a general idea of who was the best at what throughout the day of wiffle ball. These stats obviously aren't perfect because not every team played every team, so it's a bit inconsistent in that regard. But even so, it's just interesting to look at, I think. But without further ado, I want to announce the players of the game for each respective game. So here they are. For the first game, it's obviously got to be Joe. There's no question about it. He was extremely effective on both sides of the ball, had a dominant outing on the mound and a great day at the plate. In red versus white, it goes to TK because of the come from behind, go ahead grand slam while down three to six. 
And then in pink versus white, uh, this one was kind of tough because white was really good all around. But I give it to RCP. He had that leadoff homer to give them momentum. And I also just got, just got on base every time he was up to bat except for the sack fly. Grimace, though, had a great uh, outing on the mound. So there's a good argument to be made for him as well. And then the final, it obviously goes to Tuck. There's no question about it. He had the pretty much game-winning Grand Slam down 0-2, which uh, gave the red team the lead that was not given up. So those are the players of the games that I've chosen. Here are the scores after the first event of Sports Day and Wiffle Ball. The red team leads it with 10 points. Blue team in second with seven, white team in third with four, and pink team in last with one point. Next time will be soccer, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.